What's going on, people? Mike C. Town here. So, uh, if you're friends with me on Facebook or you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I found a box of these old uh, VHS C tapes. These are the tapes they used in video cameras before everything went digital. That's how old I am. I've been randomly sharing some of the live footage of bands and some skating for me and my friends uh, that are on them, but there were also tapes of just some ridiculous antics that I had totally forgotten about. So when I was 19 and straight edge and hung out with nothing but other 19 year old straight edge kids, we were always looking for shit to do when there weren't shows happening. So what do you do when you're drug free and bored? Of course, you dress up like a Hesher and you go to the mall. Uh, first off, I don't know what the hell's up with my walk, that Hesher strut, I don't know what that's about. So what we have with this one is me and my friends, Brad and Scott, we went to the mall and we were telling these people that we were in a band called Rat Corpse and we were desperately needing these guys to headbang on camera for a video. Simple enough. Side note, I really wish the audio was better because you can barely hear what these guys are saying, so really listen close. Okay, here I ask them who their favorite death metal bands are. Then it took next to nothing for me to get these guys to headbang on camera. these fools <laughs> but yeah these guys were cool as fuck man i really hope they're all still metalhead homies hanging out doing metalhead shit that would make me so happy this next group was a little tougher <laughs> So we convinced these girls that we were in some big heavy metal band. We've got a CD record deal and everything. Yeah. Well, we've been driving all over the country, so it's not that big a deal. How come you're interviewing? It's just, it's just for a video. It's just to get, it's to get, yeah. Oh, we're going to be in a video? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a bunch of other people, too. And it's going to be like, <laughs> not like, not like an MTV video, it's going to make a home video of the tour. Oh, yeah. But, all of you do is one favor. You get that? Yeah. And it was next to impossible to get these girls to get into it, even with a little motivation from me. Yeah, they're all at unison. On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. We ended up giving up since it just wasn't going anywhere, but we definitely lucked up with this next group. You know, before we knew it, we had a huge crowd of kids. Basically, all they saw was some dudes walking around with a video camera, and they were just swarming us. Oh, I so wish I could have got footage of that fool falling. I can still remember it, even though it was 20 years ago. That shit was so funny. 
So then we're off to another mall, again, with this dumbass walk. Hey man, you know you're tight when you got Slayer on your ass cheek. So this time, as we're walking through the mall with the camera, these two girls yell for us. And uh, so for these girls, we tell them we're in a Slayer fan club and that we're getting footage for a new Slayer video that's coming out. We're in, uh, was it North Lake Mall or Mall? So after some yapping and convincing, one of the girls finally decides to headbang for us, but at a cost. So here's where it gets wild. While the one girl walks off to cry about her balloon, her friend actually starts hitting on me. You can barely hear it, but here she's telling me how I'm cute, but I dress weird. I'm sorry. Well, you still got So when the girl walks off, her friend does too, so we're thinking it's over or whatever, so we go to leave. And then they start yelling for us from the balcony. She starts telling me how she wants to take me out on a date. Why? I have absolutely no idea. been a tight motherfucker back in the day if she was going to drive all the way from Atlanta to hang out with me. Not only that, she was also going to buy me some baggy pants, a Tommy Hilfiger shirt, and some damn draws. All for little old me. Well, I believe that was the last interview we did. I'm not even sure what the hell we were going to do with these stupid ass tapes, but either way, for some reason, this was fun to us back in the day. We were jackass before there was jackass. And uh, the weird thing is, it's, it's sure as shit still funny for me to watch 20 years later. So you guys probably didn't enjoy that at all, and I'm sorry. I'll be back to my regular videos very soon, but I just had to share that. So, um, so yeah, that's it, guys. As usual, thank you for living, thank you for loving, thank you for being you, and I'll see you guys next time. I right. peace, bitches!